Hi guys, welcome back to another monthly plan with me. This month I am again doing the same as last month. I'm doing a study slash uni monthly plan with me. I did this for May. I only did it a couple of weeks ago. So I've only had a couple of weeks uh, using it. But so far, so good. I have really found this beneficial and I've really found it beneficial to like visually see what's on, what's due, how long I have. So I decided to keep going with it. I thought I would anyway, but I decided to definitely keep going with it uh, and see how I go coming up to assignments. So over the next couple of weeks, I actually have a study break. So some of these stickers are going to be pulled up, which is so frustrating because it's so hard to put Erin Condren stickers back down on the sticker paper. It just wouldn't stick at all. And so I've, I've put them back in and I'll, I'll have to try and maybe use them in the next couple of months or so. So that was a bit frustrating, but it is study break. So I've only got one week in this month where I've actually got lectures on or two weeks minus one public holiday. So I decided to use it a little bit differently for this month. I've got assignments due this month and just early next month. So I'm going to try do a bit of a tracker on the Thursday column of how many words to have and a bit of a, t um, a target for me to reach because I find that I leave assignments, well usually I leave assignments to the last minute. And I really don't want to leave them for the last minute this semester. I really want to get them done and have them in and submitted way before they're due so that I just can sort of chill and have everything done by then. So that's what my Thursday column will be. Otherwise, I've done mostly the same. I've kept the Friday as a bit of a to-do for the following week's lecture. The Saturday column will be the readings that I have to do. And obviously the Sunday will be the week number, which I'm about to write in here. As part of these weeks are study break, I have used some of the Saturday column a little bit differently. Instead of reading, I've actually used it as a study box and I will put in things that I need to catch up on reading for and that kind of thing. So some of these stickers will again get peeled up. I was so frustrated with myself. I kept putting stickers down, not even looking at my subject guide to confirm but that's okay most of these stickers were fine so now I'm just putting down my subject half boxes up the top here I'm kind of using this column as a tracker for the subjects of things that are coming up things that I have to bear in mind for the next couple of weeks or so I don't know I used last month as a assignment due dates weekend schools that kind of thing so I'll keep it going that way and just have most important dates on there or things I need to specifically bring. I used the Le Pen permanent pen to write down the subject names otherwise I used a Muji pen for the rest of the writing. Here is when I realized that I had put the stickers down incorrectly and here you'll see how hard it is to put the stickers back down. I then realized, I, at first I was like, oh, it's a stopoke holiday and then I realized I have no lectures for the rest of the month. So good for me because I don't have to go to lectures, but bad because I screwed up the monthly spread, but that's okay. As I said, most of them went back in just fine, apart from the Erin Condren stickers. So if you've got any hacks for that kind of thing, let me know. I've had them down sort of weighted the whole afternoon so I'm hoping that they flatten themselves out so that I can use them again. Bit of a shame really, I hate wasting stickers.
as frustrating as frustrating as it was, I was able to use the Erin Condren stickers in the back of my planner, which I hardly ever use. They're some of the blank ones, so that was good that I could use them. And the colours matched heaps better than the green ones did for when I had them down for lectures. So that was good. Uh, and I just used a couple on the Sunday column to indicate study break as well, just so that I sort of had visually a different kind of a little bit of a barrier between the semester break times and the study break times. So ended up working out aesthetically looking a lot better, but some of my stickers really took a turn for the worst. I didn't want to fill in too much of the to-do column because obviously we're not quite up to that yet and I wanted to keep it open because it's a little bit up in the air with the break coming up as well as my assignments so I'm keeping it kind of bare there and I'm also keeping the study column kind of bare as well just so that I can put in what is needed as it occurs. Other than that I put a little bit of decoration up the top there that is from the Erin Condren Too Cool for School sticker book. I just decided I needed a little bit of decoration there and that is also from the same sticker book from Erin Condren. You know in study break there's not a whole lot of studying doing but I decided to put it in there anyway maybe just to encourage me. I have one assignment due before the study break and I have one during so I'm hoping that I can use that time wisely and not I didn't realize but those Boxes fit perfectly in the monthly spread boxes. So again, that's from the Too Cool for School Erin Condren sticker, sticker book. And I'm just using, this, like, I'm kind of using it as a little target of when to complete things by. So that one, I'm hoping that I'll have my, half, have my assignment halfway done by that point. And yeah, again, just set myself some little goals. That's about it for this week, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. But other than that, I will see you on the weekend for my regular plan with me. Bye.